Hello, my name is Christian Evangelista, and for my slide, uh, we are looking at the approach for beneficence. When looking at the approach to beneficence that healthcare providers take, there are questions we can look at to dive deeper in understanding this principle. So what does it mean to act in the good of the patient? And what is medically good? This can be broken down into two separate circumstances. There are two instances where the best course of action and treatment to restore a patient to their former health status are very straightforward. Cases of the flu, broken bones, sepsis, meningitis, and others listed in the chart typically afford straightforward treatment that is widely accepted. This includes antibiotics, IV fluids, and the usage of casts, uh, splints, or even metal rods and surgery. On the contrary, there are many other complicated situations that prohibit a healthcare provider from performing what is medically good for the patient. Instances of religion and culture sometimes act as barriers to restore one's health. One example demonstrating this is the Jehovah Witnesses' refusal of blood, uh, blood transfusions and sometimes the Amish's refusal of a heart transplant because it goes against their faith. So while a patient's religion may serve as one aspect that prevents a doctor from carrying out their duty to act in the benefit of others, sometimes the patient may simply just refuse what the doctor believes to be the beneficial treatment.